no secret that in the automotive world there is a big race going on in respect to green automotive. And one of the leading technologies is electrification. A lot of automobile manufacturers are building electric vehicles or electric hybrids or plug-ins and such as that. General Motors is one of the leading companies in this area. Uh, two years ago, they launched the Chevrolet Bolt, its first electric vehicle. And uh, coming up in about two weeks' time, they'll be launching their first all EV, the 2014 Chevrolet Spark EV. Well, General Motors believes that there's more to electrification than just building cars. There are legacy implications, uh, uh, more technological advances, infrastructure policy, and to that effect, they decided to invite uh, several journalists from around the world to here Santa, to uh, San Francisco, California, uh, to an event called the Electrification Experience, where they're teaching us more about how electrification fits in directly with cars, but more to that, how it fits in in the broader picture for a greater consumer and government uh, acceptance. So we're going to learn more about the Electrification Experience with General Motors here in San Francisco. With Larry Nitz, uh, who is the Executive Director for Vehicle Electrification with General Motors. Um, Larry, I'm just curious if you could tell me about the whole electrification experience event. Uh, what was the, the idea behind putting this on with the, for General Motors? Well, electrification is a broad category it and it involves both cars and technology. And some of it is maybe a little non-traditional mm. for the auto industry, like secondary use and right. using using batteries in a grid application after the useful life of the car. So we thought we'd bring together a lot of different experiences. Yeah. Well, we're doing things from electric motor builds. We talk about electric motors, but yep. you know nobody knows really what they are or right. the scene or touch them. So we allow you to build some electric motors. Yeah, this isn't your average ride and drive. This is going beyond that. And it, and that's I guess is there a greater purpose to, to better educate the whole technological sphere of it rather than just get people behind a new, the new Spark EV, for example? Well, you know, you think of uh, cars and their propulsion systems of 100 years of internal combustion. And people know a lot about, the, the media knows a lot about engines and transmissions, but very little about batteries and electric drive. And so the idea is um, to educate the media to bring the, the people together to show that we don't think of it just in terms of the bold or the spark, we think of it in terms of a continuum that's going to change the industry going forward. So two weeks before its actual release in Los Angeles, we're sitting in a 2014 Spark EV and we're getting our chance to drive it before anybody else. Looking forward to this, so let's have some fun. Have you experienced the sport mode? I have not experienced the sport mode. Well, the sport mode, uh, there's a button right here. It gives you a little bit more torque for throttle position. You know what? You can experience that. Anytime it says, have you pressed the sport button? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but maybe I should. <laughs> You know what, this really feels good. This is big pickup here, and that's something that um, I guess people driving electrics wouldn't normally expect. That felt nice. Hey, a couple times around the block in the Spark EV, you know about these things, it drives just like a car. That's the best part about it. That was a lot of fun, and I think they've got something going here that's gonna work pretty well. All right, so one of the common criticisms of electrification and batteries is, well, end of life, disposal, landfill issues, a lot of the uh, opponents of electrification are really using that as, a, as an excuse. Well, guess what? There is a solution to that. What you're looking at behind me is a backup generator, and inside are end-of-life Chevy Bolt batteries. There's a stack of them, and it's another opportunity to take these, instead of doing the negative environmental thing, let's use them in a secondary capacity. Think about the potential here. Utilities can use it as a backup energy source for blackout periods or for capturing renewable energy when it's perhaps not available. In fact, the conference, the main room that we've been in, has been completely powered, all the TV, the microphones, the audio system, by the energy that's in this backup generator, which again, contains end-of-life Chevy Volt batteries. It's the first of its kind, but I'd love to see that this is only the first of many because that's innovation and meeting a criticism head-on.
So after two days, several breakout sessions, and even a chance to drive the new Chevy uh, Spark EV before it comes out, I've had a chance to understand that from General Motors' perspective, electrification or the success of electrification is not just about building a good car, which is very important, of course, but they surely understand that it involves a greater capacity to have all the potential answers uh, solved or, or ready for those criticisms that eventually come along through the growth of a new technology. It's something that I found uh, interesting and informative, and I'm glad I had the chance to attend the electrification experience. From Cavallo Point near San Francisco, California, I'm Eric Novak, and I'll see you next time.